not running. No running in the kitchen. Number one thing, no running in the kitchen. The only time you should run in the kitchen is when you're on a freaking kitchen show. A competitive cooking show? Maybe. Maybe. They get away with it. They get away with it. Still wouldn't recommend it, though. Okay, let's turn the heat down a little bit. Just wanted to heat up the pan first, you know? Yeah, you know, shows like Britain's Greatest Iron Bake Off Chef. Uh, you, you, you see what I did there? I just combined a whole bunch of names together. Yo, I'm extra hungry. Should I make more than eight? Well, now, we're gonna make ten dumplings today, gamers. We're gonna make ten. We're gonna, we're gonna go for the Big Hungies Hour. Big Hungies Power Hour, as I would call it, I guess. I'm just making up words. Big Hungies Power Hour, let's go. None of this little Hungies. Chug-chug with you. We can be pro Fortnite gamers. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. I've lost. I. You know. I've already made a huge amount of time loss in my in my IRL gameplay, though. You know. Unfortunately. Like, my college split is abysmal. I literally lost five years of time there. You know? And, like, my whole, like, senior career split is also kind of, like, weird. Since I'm trying to go for, um, I'm trying to go for corporate skip, right? I'm trying to do that corporate skip. Huge risk, it's, it's a huge risky strat, but it can pay off in the end because you can hit retirement. Like, you can hit that retirement split early. <laughs> well now, we're currently cooking some pot stickers. Ghost, I don't got a food command, unfortunately. I don't got a. That's a good color. So let's get the water going. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, let's go! New mouse, Pog you. What mouse did you get? We gotta, we gotta just pour it all in. Okay, there we go. Now we wait. Yeah, you mentioned that. You mentioned that your mouse was dying. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. Get down, ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. Why is that version of American Boy so catchy? Oh yeah, I mean, I use a death adder. Yo, Riley! Hello! Long time no talk indeed. Gosh, I wish Prof were here. This is... If Prof were here, I'd be like, Prof, this is one of my tall friends. What now? Hello, Steph. Dude, how are you doing? How's SoCal treating you? Or I guess it's not SoCal. It's just Central Cal Bay Area, let's be honest. How am I? I'm doing pretty well. I made two cute little heart cortados today. 
Although the coffee beans are, I think it's the coffee beans. They're, they're getting a little bit stale. I think that's why the coffee is not tasting too good these days. I'm, uh, you know, happy Friday to you too. Yeah, I was talking about how Prof, when I was, like, you know, after seeing his face, oh dang, let's go, after seeing his face and hearing him talk and, like, interacting with him in chat, um, I was like, you know, Prof, you have tall energy, and, like, he's 6'3", and I was like, oh, so he is tall, I just, I could feel his tallness, and... I was talking about how, you know, the whole brewery thing, um, so Cyrodon actually is one of the, the guys that I was working with uh, for trying to move the brewery to Seattle. So we, uh, we hung out a lot. We went to college together, He's, he was in my college cohort, like, so, um, fellow electrical engineer. But yeah, he's pretty tall. And the other guy that we worked with, also very tall. I just I just have a good eye for tall people. But Prof was asking, like, so what makes you think I'm tall? And I was like, I don't know, I just know a lot of tall people and you've got that tall vibe. And so I was like, yeah, I was just talking about the tall people that I know in my life. And uh, Saradon came up because I was talking about tall people from the brewery era. You have big short energy. Yeah. No, no, no. I have, actually, I don't even have big short energy. Let's be honest. I'm just short. Er. I'm, I know, I have big average energy. I don't know how to describe the tall vibe, honestly. It's like a mix of like posture, language, just a lot of things. See, it really depends on the time of, or the time of day. It's day to day for me. Like sometimes I wish I were 5'11", sometimes I wish I were 5'2". But being 5'7 really is just annoying. Just like sitting in the middle as like super average is just kind of like, eh. But yeah, Riley, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm going broke real quick. <laughs> I keep doing this to myself. But I feel like I'm getting pretty close in the chocolate shop. I need to do I need to do some principal photography. I need to like take some real beautiful pictures of real beautiful chocolates for the menu. And then I can post up the website. I can post up the website. Did I show you the boxes? I haven't shown you the freaking boxes, bro. barely game anymore. But yo. Check that out. I mean, I don't have the label stickers on the back yet. But yeah. Inside of the box. First box goes out to Jason, though. And then second box goes out to Purple Fire. Third box goes out to Dilly. I cannot ship internationally yet. I haven't developed a recipe that would pass customs properly. It's, it's a complicated thing, like, for international, um, 
but yeah, for international shipping, it's pretty complicated just because I can't like very easily get them to clear customs because a lot of uh, a lot of packaged foods require pretty stringent customs regulations. Um, like I can pass things like state regulations pretty easily, although I need to finish up my state regulations also. But yeah, I should be launching the website soon. I said that freaking like seven months ago. But then I decided to completely change, well not change my branding, but like improve my design. Ha! <laughs> okay, we gotta make sure that this doesn't burn. Let's just let that drip off. No, let's not get that there. Let's get that here. But yeah, how how have things been going for you though, Riley? Aside from the move. Since, you know, we're, 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 we're not going to see each other at anything like PAX, because that doesn't exist. By the way, everybody, Sourdon's like the kind of guy who will be like, Hey, I got you a three-day pass for PAX, you're going. Because he did that to me last time there was a PAX West. Oh yeah, imagine going to a convention to see your friends. That's why we're having KerbisCon and ScreeDQ and CMFBDQ. You know, if I were to have my own con, I, would, I don't even know what I would call it. Turn to Palooza? Hello, Intrepid. I see that you're mashing. Yo, 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 yo. What? Bottom energy or just excited? Lamau. Okay. Can we do all ten at once? Here's the real question. Power off. Okay. Okay. We got all ten. Can we make the flip? Can we make the flip? Pause champ. Pause champ. Three, two, one. Oh! Welcome to Turnt's Dumpling House. Yeah, but is it going to be an in-person con? That's my question. Also, a lot of people care about having bottom energy.
like how the pan is so hot that the drippings from the lid are still sizzling. Okay, well, well, I'm surprised that there's still enough gas for maybe one more plate of pot stickers. Just because people, like, it's a cultural thing. It's a cultural thing, Astro. They value their cultural identity. Okay. Gamers. Gaming. I need to take pictures. We need to take pictures, like always. So, um... Let's get a Pusheen the cat. Pusheen the cat. Hello, Pusheen the cat. All right. Chick-fil-A is a fast food chicken like shop um, in the US that supports a lot of highly conservative anti-gay agenda things, unfortunately. by a lot of religious principles, Re religious fundamentalism, I guess. glass. Happy birth. Happy birth. Slobs does suck. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like, if they were conservative and just kept their opinions out of their professional and financial matters, then I would say that's just their opinion. But they're actively trying to dis courage gay existence you know erasure they're oh now king earth go rooker Because, yeah, things like conversion therapy are, like, 
super archaic. It's like from the 70s where they freaking shock your brain until you stop saying that you're gay. Mm-hmm. They're like supporting a form of just, well, They're supporting a form of institutional violence. Oh, they didn't work the whole time on stream? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's, it's a very distinctly American problem. Well, mm, I wouldn't say distinctly American problem, but it is an American problem. Well, I mean, it's not even that. It's just that America was founded on a bunch of, well, bad premises. Or, not founded on, but built on, I should say. But, alright. Let's, let's go on to happier things. Let's, let's talk about some happier things. Like Sea Glass's birthday. And the fact that, like, they got a, a sub-40 on their birthday. Well, more than just homophobic and trepid, I'd say. I mean, it's true. I'm gonna make a little bit of tea. I'm gonna make a spot of tea. Thank you for the love. Ocean glass, Lamau. I mean, understandable, Tim. It's just that we live in a very strange predicament over here. There's... The, the polarization that's happened here has made things very hostile towards any real political discourse. Ocean Goblin. Because the thing is, like, there are some people that I know who are willing to actually talk about things. And it's interesting because, yeah, we live in a society. Because, like, some of my, or at least some of the people that I consider good friends are still very, like, financially conservative. I mean, I know libertarians. Right? I know libertarians, and, like, the things that they say align with a lot of the things that I say, and that a lot of us, like, more liberal people would say, too. Like, term limits. Term limits on senators. Cut their pay. 
you know? It's all the same kind of stuff, but they stand on the opposite side of the table for a lot of other things. It's flowing into your democracy. I mean, it makes sense, because the thing is, people... People have seen the efficacy of driving a wedge through, between the people so that they argue about things that don't matter, so that all of the, uh, all of the crooks can make off like bandits. I mean, Astro, it's gonna cascade into the world economy. Well, not the world economy. I mean, it will. But it'll cascade into world politics, too, at this point. Like, people have been realizing, oh, hey, we can just do, like, political warfare like this. I mean, Russia's already been, like, encouraging this kind of behavior for the past decade. Right? This is actually part of their psyops. Like, if they want to destabilize a country, they basically turn them into the U.S. <laughs> Which is very strange, because, like, a progressive right wing just sounds more like a centrist to me. You know? Like, there are issues that they they want progressive and issues that they want, like, conservative. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. I It's just because they've twisted... They, okay, we've lost the plot, right? They've twisted the language so much in the past two decades, like, that it kind of destroys... It kind of destroys a lot of conversation topics. Because, like, a lot of these terms are loaded now. They're loaded. And that's exactly how they wanted it. Astro, that only applies to the Western world. That only applies to the Western world. 